Hi! Welcome to Rise and Shine Yoga for another beautiful, hopefully, day. So, as normal, take a pose, get comfy, and we're going to stay in there for a couple minutes just to make sure that we're all good to go. Mentally, physically, if you need any to grab anything, grab some water, um, grab a sweatshirt, grab some shorts, whatever you need to get comfortable, that's what you want to do. And find a spot on the ground. My name is Jen, and I'm going to be leading you through a nice, easy rise and shine practice. There's no magical clothing that you need for yoga. All you really need is something that you can move comfortably in. I've seen people do it in literally pajamas. They're um, workout clothes, there are clothes they use to go to work in, whatever you can physically move in all directions, that's what you need. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy, it doesn't have to be anything expensive, it doesn't have to be anything that's matching. It just has to be something that you could put on and move. That's it. Big breaths in and big breaths out. The plan today is to do about half a class and then stop and make some time for breathing exercises, some seven second breaths, and then we'll continue with the practice. So kind of get going, calm down, get going, calm down. So you have a rough idea of what the, the general plan for today is. So hopefully you are in the proper mind space that you would like to be for class today. And you're all going to start on all fours. <clears throat> so we're going to be on all fours, like I said. Your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders and your knees are going to be underneath your hips. We're spreading that weight equally. And all we're going to do is just breathe here a couple seconds. If you need to adjust up and down or left and right, please do so. This is your time to get yourself situated. We always want to have a wonderful foundation for anything that we do. So here, and I just want you to just turn your head and look over one shoulder. And then the same opposite side. And then come back to the middle. Look down. And back to the center and look up, kind of off to the distance. All right, let's do a nice little howling cat. we are really arching that spine, looking down. And then reversing into our cow. And our cat. Under cow. One more cap. And cow. And 
come back to neutral, slide your back, your legs back a little bit. Slide your back and your legs back. And come on to your forearms. And bring your head to the mat, puppy posture. Nice stretch in the upper back, mid back, low back. And take a few breaths here. Come on up. We're going to go back down again, but we're going to come into a downward dog lower body with that puppy posture for the upper body. All right, so nice and slow. Just come on up. Doesn't have to be beautiful. Don't have to have straight legs. Drop those knees, come back to your puppy posture. Come back up. Let's bring the those downward dog legs in, so straighten them to the best of your ability. And bring those knees down one more time, puppy posture. and straighten those legs to the best of your ability. And then drop those knees and sit back. Let that head drop. time through. Roll it up. Lean forward. Maybe you can go a little bit farther this time. And lean it back. Toes up. Reach down.
release, bend that knee, and bring it back. Have a seat on your heels, and just twist. And other way, twist. And come back to the center. And up. All right, let's switch to the other side. So my other leg is in front, and I'm leaning in. Now I can really show you. We're working, stretching this muscle right here, or these muscles right here. Nothing ever works alone in the human body. Lean back. Toes up. stretch one more time. Back the center and let's roll forward so we can come on to our bellies. <clears throat> We're going to put that head down on the ground, bring those hands behind us, and we're going to lift those arms and then lift that chest up off the ground. So we're going to come up and back down. I call this a rocket man or woman when we do um, more standard exercise practices because if you had a rocket on your back, this is how you'd be able to adjust all the paraphernalia back here. Um, your arms wouldn't be in front like a Superman, they'd be in the back, so you can turn it on, turn it off, all that sort of stuff. So this is a very little movement. Work all those muscles right next to your spine. Very important. Every time we do a core exercise in the front, I'm gonna do a core exercise from the back. So, let's look down. Let's lift up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Up for five, four, three, two, one. And down. Up for five, four, three, two, one. And down. Up for five, four, Three, two, one, and down. Let's do this last one for 10 seconds and come up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Really relax those shoulder blades. Turn into just a giant, like just puddly mess of goo here. Relaxing my hips, relaxing my glutes, relaxing my feet, relaxing my hands. Everything is relaxed. 
Let it all go. All right, take those hands, bring them in front, and come onto the forearms. Do a little stretch of the abs here. Take one arm, I'm going to take my right, you can take your left, I'm going to bring it towards the middle of the mat, and I'm going to take my left hand and just bring it back behind. I can either have it here or here, or whatever feels good. I'm just going to rely on this one arm here. All right, let's switch it out, get it situated, and then bring it. One more time each side, bring that hand behind. You can put it in a different position this time if you want. Totally fine. And switch it out. Come on down. Take the side. <clears throat> And lay down on it. I'm just going to support my head with my arms so I have a nice neutral neck. I'm down here, I have kind of a, a little kink. So I'm going to support and have a nice neutral spine. And I'm going to take that upper arm and I'm just going to let it open up to the side and really open up that chest. I'm going to stay here for a little while. it in and let's roll on to the other side. So I'm facing away from you. Don't take offense. <clears throat> Supporting my head and neck and that arm comes up and I open it up to the side. drop those knees. I'm going to demo this. I'm going to face this way so you can see a little bit better. We're going to be here in a plank. I'm going to lift one leg and I'm going to open it up to the side and come here. And then I'm going to bring that hand down and come back down. So that leg comes up and over to the side. All right, so let's give it a try. I'm going to actually turn this way so I don't hit anything. And if you need to make modifications during your practice too, that's totally fine. All right, so come to plank. I'm gonna lift my left leg up first. I'm gonna bend that knee and I'm gonna drop it over to the side. And then my left foot 
is barely touching the ground. I'm on my toes, and my left hand is in the air. For five, four, three, two, one, and let's come back. Drop, sit back. All right, how did that feel? We're gonna do the other side. If you have no idea what we're doing, I suggest watching this one, watch what I do, and then we're gonna do it again two more times so you'll have a chance to do it, so no worries. All right, so now I'm gonna bring my right foot behind and my right foot's gonna go that way. All right, so I'm planking. I'm lifting up. I'm bending that knee and I'm dropping it to one side. And then that arm comes up in the air. For five, four, three, two, one. And let's come down and take a breather. We're gonna do that two more times and then we're gonna take a pause we're going to do our, our breathing exercise, and then we'll continue class. So this is kind of a nice little um, finisher for this first half. All right, side A. <clears throat> so if it's this leg, it's going that way. If it's this leg, it's going that way. So it's going the opposite direction. All right, leg comes up. Bend that knee. Draw up it to one side. Arm comes up. For five, four, three, two. One, come back to plank. Lift the other leg and bend that knee, drop it to the side. Come up for five, four, three, two, one. Come back through and take a little rest. We're gonna do that one more time. If you wanna join me, wonderful, great. If you don't, wonderful, great too. That's totally fine. All right, the last time. Come to plank, lift that leg, bend that knee, and drop and twist for five, four, three, two, one. Back through plank, other leg lift, bend that knee, open it up for five, four, three, two, one, and come back through center and have a seat whatever way you want. Just gonna be grabbing a little drink. <laughs> Nothing tastes as good as like glacier cold water. Okay, so we're gonna do our seven, seven, seven times seven breathing. So that means we're gonna breathe in for seven seconds, hold for seven seconds, and breathe out for seven seconds, doing that seven times. Of course, if seven is too much, you can change it to whatever number you want. I will count out loud. You can very well count for yourself too at a different speed. And if you really just don't like this breathing exercise, that's totally fine. Your practice, your rules. I just want you to pick a breathing style that you like and just concentrate on your breathing during the time that we're doing this exercise. Okay? So let's breathe in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big breath in, big breath out. refreshed, very much cleansed, and we're going to stand up and continue with our practice. <clears throat> okay, so everything is wonderful, everything is good, and let's bring our legs nice wide, bring those feet nice and wide, point those toes off to the side of your mat. Hands on the hips, and let's just lean one way. First way again, bring those arms up. And the other way. Bring those arms all the way up. Lean one way. the center, drop those arms, let's lean in one way, straight back, kind of leading with the shoulder, and switching the other side. Come back to the center, roll it on up. I would like you to take the leg that's, in, that's facing this way, whatever that leg is, point it towards that wall, and take the back leg, point it towards that way. So you have one foot that way, one foot that way. If you need to adjust the width of your leg, that's totally fine, do so. Now we're just going to lean forward with that front leg, whatever's facing that way, and I'm going to bring that arm and place it on that. So I'm here and I'm opening up that chest. My other hand is just kind of out of the way. And I bring that arm up. And then bring that arm up over my ear. I'm gonna bring that arm around and I'm gonna roll up. I'm going to reset. We're going to do that same side two more times. Bend that knee. Place that hand, arm on that thigh. Take the other arm, place it somewhere up out of the way. Bring that arm up overhead. And then over the ear. Set, shake it out if you need to. Uh, bend that knee. Arm goes down. Open up that chest. Arm up. Open up 
go over the ear. And reset. All right, let's do the other side. So I'm switching those feet. Now this leg is facing that way. And this leg is facing that way. So exactly what we just did, just on the other side. So let's bend that front knee. Just take that forearm, place it on top, and then take that arm up out of the way, opening up that chest. Bring that arm up. And then I'm up over the ear. Bring it through, reset. Bend that knee, bring that arm up and around. Take those arms, let's bring them out to the side, and we're just going to turn like a giant windmill. And come on. Other side, turn like a windmill. And come up. And back down. The direction. Yeah. Last time this side, this way, this formation. And up. And counter stretch. And up. Drop those arms. Switch those feet. Same thing. Other side. Arms up. Lean forward. And come on up. Counter stretch. And up. Uh, number two. And down. And up. Counter stretch. And up. Last time. Down. Shoulder on top of shoulder. And come up. And kind of stretch. Come back up and drop those arms. Shake out those legs. And then we're going to bring them back out and maybe even take a step or two out. So they're nice and wide and the toes are pointing out. Hands on the hips. Let's lean forward, let's bring those hips back. And come on up. Maybe we go a little deeper this time. Uh, let's go down. And up, running one more time. Maybe you bring those hands off the hips and bring them to the ground. On down, and if you want, you can drop those arms. And then walk them a little bit towards one foot. Come to the center, to the other foot. 
center one more time one way center and the other way center and roll it up let's heel toe those feet in nice and slow and then we're going to go back down to the ground however you would like I grab some more water on the way down. <laughs> and we're getting ready to cool it down because we only have a few more minutes left of class. <clears throat> All right, so we're on the ground. Everything's wonderful and good. Let's bring one leg in, leg of your choice, big squeeze. Point the those toes up towards the ceiling. And then take this leg, let's cross it over. And if this is my left leg, I'm going to take my right arm, give it a big squeeze, and twist. I'm going to come back to the center. I'm going to bring that foot back to the original position, and I'm going to give it a big squeeze in, just so the foot is still active. And really, so let's switch it out. Other side, bring that leg in, big squeeze, active in the other foot. All right, let's cross it over. And I'm gonna take, this as my right leg, so I'm gonna take my left arm, give it a big squeeze, and rotate. Drop those feet. Let's cross one leg over. And take your hand and just push ever so slightly on the inner thigh. I'd like you to have both hips on the ground. So my when I pushed, this other hip came up. I don't want that. I want both feet, well, both hips on the ground. And then I want to give it a slight push. And if by doing that, it takes that hip off the ground, I don't want to push. So you have to decide what your body's telling you today. And let's release and let's switch sides. Slight push if you feel it is appropriate. And release. All right, let's do some bridges. So when we do those bridges, we're taking that pelvis and we're tilting it. So it's here and we're going here. Tilt, 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 tilt. I want you to squeeze everything in like you are squeezing, um, like a Capri Sun. You're just squeezing it and the juice pops off the top. You're squeezing everything equally into the middle. So I want you to do that with your with your torso. I want you to squeeze everything into the middle and then lift those glutes up off the ground. So I'm gonna squeeze it in and then I'm gonna tilt the pelvis and I'm going to lift and I'm gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna come down and then I can release that squeeze. You're doing that nine more times, all right? So let's squeeze in, lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one, release and release the squeeze. Again, in and up, five, four, three, two, one, 
down and out. In and up for five, four, three, two, one. Down and out. In and up. Five, four, three, two, one. And down and out. We have four more. Squeeze it in and lift for five, four, three, two, one. Down and out. In and up. And we're going to do two more. Lift and five, four, three, two, one, and down. Final lift. Let's go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Let's bring those knees out to the side, put our hands on our belly. A few deep breaths, relaxing those hips. If there is something your body is absolutely craving, this would be the time to do it. Otherwise, we're just going to stay here for a couple more seconds, and then we're going to transition into Akshavasana. Right, when you are ready, take the hands to the outside of the thighs, push them together, and then slide those legs out. Let those feet flop out to the side, arms on the ground, tuck the shoulder blades under. And I just want you to be in your own little world, in your own little self. If you want to do seven second breathing again, you're more than welcome. If you always find that your mind wanders, you can literally count or say letters of the alphabet, something just to let your mind wander. And we're going to be here for two minutes. slowly start to wiggle our fingers and our toes. If you want to stay here longer, by all means, please do so. And let's bend one knee. And then the other knee. And roll onto the side. Hold here. Take a few breaths. And use that top arm to push yourself back up. And we are done. 
thank you for coming to practice with me today. I hope you have a very nice morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you later. Bye.